What's up everyone, Danny Line and back with another Warbots video. Today we are going to be checking out weapons that are easy to get if you're free to play or even cheap to play. And we're going to be talking about best weapons if you're a brand new player. But when trying to build or get weapons as a brand new player, you're going to have to take what you can get. But what we want to do is find weapons that actually perform well or good in Champion League. And that's what we really want to build, buy, or put our resources into. Because if it doesn't perform well in the higher leagues, we don't really want to dump a lot of resources into getting it or building it because you're going to outgrow it. It's not going to be good anymore. So we're going to look at stuff that actually performs in Champion League. So that's what this video is to try to help you get weapons that will actually work. And also remember, things do change from time to time. Sometimes weapons get buffed and they become better. Sometimes they get nerfed and they're not as good. But at the time I'm making this video, these are the things to go for. If you enjoy this content, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and let's get to it. As a brand new player, you're going to want to get Thunders. They are cheap to buy, cheap to upgrade. You can buy them with silver. And they're very, very good. They do a lot of damage up close. So those are great for someone who's just starting out. For the medium and the light slot, you're going to go for the Punisher and the Punisher T. These things are very, very good. They do the most damage up close as well. When you get further back, they spread out all over the place. They do have a 10 second reload time. That's the only reason these things aren't excellent weapons all around is 10 seconds is a long reload and they don't do as much damage from a distance. But as a new player, you're not gonna get much better than these, honestly. They're just all around good weapons. They're cheap to buy, cheap to upgrade. They're just nice. Now, Tehrans, these are weapons you can buy with gold. These are very, very nice medium weapons, and they're cheap to upgrade. So these are something, if you got a little bit of extra gold laying around, you might want to think about getting these. I still love these weapons. They are old school, but they're pretty amazing. You know, you can't beat these for the upgrade price. There are a few other weapons you can buy with silver, but I really don't recommend them. Now, the majority of the weapons, you actually can buy those with gold, but I'm going to tell you what, it is not cheap. It can cost a lot of gold to buy some of these weapons. So the next thing we're going to look at are weapons that you're actually able to go in there and build in the workshop. Yeah, it might take a couple weeks to build one of these, but hey, you can actually build these for pretty cheap. So the first thing in there is the puncher. These are great heavy weapons. I like them a lot. Venoms, not so much. Hills, mmm. Bane and Tox and not so much. Those used to be good, but they're not great at the moment. Prismas, if you're playing Team Deathmatch or you're a sniper, you would probably like the Prismas. Scotty Snare, eh. Next, we have Scald Scorcher and Incinerator. The reload time is just too long on these. Now, the light version has a fast reload, but the heavy and the medium have a longer reload. So, I don't necessarily suggest these. Hornet, great damage, long reload. Magnetars love these. You should definitely try to build some Magnetars. Next, we have the Scatter, Havoc, and Devastator. These do huge amounts of damage. They are very, very up-close weapons, though. You have to be within 200 meters to hit somebody with these, but they will do massive amounts of damage. So if you're an up-close brawler, these are very good. All right, so next we have Vault, Weber, Gauss. These are sniper weapons. They're okay. I mean, some people are really going to like those, but I think those aren't going to be for most people. Nucleon, Quarker, Atomizer are very decent weapons that you can build. I like these a lot at point blank. You never have to worry about reloading or anything, but they do overheat. So the further you are away, when they overheat, the ammo spreads out and the less damage it does from a distance. But at point blank, who cares? I mean, if you're right next to somebody, you can just shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. So these do have some advantages and disadvantages. But overall, these are actually pretty decent. Next, we have the Glacier Rhyme and Cryo. Ah, uh, these are okay, I guess. Glacier hits really, really hard. Problem with these things, though, is the reload times are very long. So, yeah, it's, it's easy to miss, and they're very long reloads. So, some people are going to like these, but not really my thing. Next, we have the Flamethrowers. If you're playing up close and in somebody's face, these weapons are excellent. Very hard to use, but very, very, very good damage. Avalanche, it's okay. Like Hussar, Marquis, and the Dragoons here. These are just kind of okay weapons. Don't really recommend them, but they're not bad. Next, we have the Blaze, which is the other Flamethrower. Like I said, lovely, <laughs> amazing weapons, but very hard to use. Calamity, these things are great except for when people go into stealth, 
you lose your lock on. And then when they come out of stealth, you have to wait a couple of seconds to lock on again. And when there's a stealth meta like there is right now, that makes these weapons very, very hard to use. If it wasn't for everybody running around in the stealth at the moment, I would say these are super amazing, but the stealth really ruins them. Next, we have the Shredder, guys. Shredders are awesome. They do a lot of damage up close from a distance. The ammo spreads out, so all the ammo doesn't hit from a distance. But up close, these things are great. Spark, same thing. They have the lock on, so the stealth really ruins these things. Halo, not too bad. I mean, these are decent old school weapons with lockdown. Not my favorites, but hey, they're, they're okay. Vortex, very interesting weapon, but I don't recommend it. There's the Scourge, has the lock on, stealth destroys it. So I don't recommend these at the moment because yeah, too many things in stealth. Viper, amazing heavy weapons, but they do have a 10 second reload. So if you're okay with a 10 second reload, these are worth building. We've got the Chimera, don't like it. We got the Flux, don't really like it. Tempest, don't care for it. Glory, these hit hard. These are one of the hardest hitting weapons in the game, but you do have to be as close as possible to the enemy to get that kind of damage to come out of them. So a little bit hard to use, but man, the Glory hits hard. Then you have the Corona, which is its little brother. I think that's the medium or the light. I think the medium and the light version of these are good if you're running them with the glory. If you're, if you're not running on them with the glory, I would probably go with something else. Shock Train, no thank you. Pulsars, amazing. I'm loving the Pulsars. Wasp, great damage, really long reload times, so I don't recommend them. Thermites, don't care for. Ember, there's the other flamethrower. Those flamethrowers are amazing. Like I said, hard to use, but crazy good damage. Next, we have the Redeemer absolutely love it love the redeemers 350 meter range huge damage amazing weapon and then we have the dragon which is just kind of okay you know the dragon marquis hussar those are kind of like sniper weapons but eh, you know maybe some people will like them not my thing so those are the ones we can build in the workshop so the next thing we're going to look at are the daily deals for example look for $3.50, you can get a Hades, which is a decent robot with a puncher and two shredders. These are all Mark II, right? For $3.50, that is a heck of a deal right there. You're getting some really nice stuff for dirt cheap. So this is where, you, if you're a cheap-to-play player, you need to come up here and watch these daily deals. Right here, for $8.49, you got a Mark II Fenrir with Mark II shotguns. I mean, these shotguns are uh, freaking amazing for up-close fighting. I mean... The other day, there was a whole bunch. There must have been 20 or 30 different weapons in here for like 2 or $3 each. I mean, that's that's crazy stuff. And they were all leveled up to Mark II already. So for cheap-to-play players, watch the daily deals. There is some good stuff in here lately. The gold deals have gone up in price a little bit. This is now 15 bucks for 50000 I used to be able to get that for like 6 bucks or 8 bucks. Now it's up to like 15 So, you know, the prices do change from time to time. You might still see a dirt cheap deal on gold eventually. But if you're cheap to play, watch out for really good deals on gold and good deals on keys. So the next thing we're going to look at are the black market chests, right? If you go over to the big chest, this one will cost you 1,000 keys. There are a lot of nice Titan weapons here. There's, uh, yeah, just good stuff, man. We got regular weapons. So for a thousand keys, you're probably going to get something nice. Now, there are a couple things in here that aren't so great, but sometimes you can get crazy cheap deals. I mean, you can get like 10,000 keys for like two bucks sometimes. That would give you like 10, 10 chances to win something good out of here. So you might get some resources. You might get more keys some power cells, or you might get a weapon or a Titan weapon or a Titan module. So the key deals are pretty good. If you open enough of these, you can get a super chest. And if you watch enough videos for the keys, you'll get a lot of keys. I mean, generally, you can open up enough uh, keys to get one of these super chest guys. If you keep watching the videos, you should be able to get one super chest per season without spending a dime and get one of these robots or whatever that's up here in the super chest. So... Those are some of the ways to get stuff, you know, cheap or for free. Again, if you want to spend a few bucks every once in a while, I mean, for example, we've got, it looks like there's actually a Titan in the operation. So sometimes the operation passes have robots and weapons. Now, if you go into the store, you will notice most weapons, even though it says get for 10,000 components. If you click on that, 
sometimes, okay, sometimes not always, but sometimes it'll still allow you to buy that particular weapon for gold. But yeah, let's go to the store again. And there's a lot of stuff in here. But yeah, most of it is either going to be bought with silver, bought with gold, or you have to build it with components. If it says exclusive content, that means you can only win it out of a prize chest so far. So let's move over to something that's still exclusive. Like right here, exclusive content not available in the shop. That means you can only win it as a prize. But for example, the cryo... It says buy with 10,000 components, but if you click on that, you're going to see you can either produce it in the workshop or you can buy it with 5,520 gold. So some of these things you can buy with gold, even if it doesn't, you know, say it. For example, this one, you can buy it with gold. So it's kind of weird how they got that set up, but hey, just so you guys know, that's pretty much the deal with how all this stuff works and what you can get and how you can get it. Now, the final thing we're going to look at is the uh, special delivery crates. Now, you do have to spend money to open these crates. These are probably not going to be crates you're going to get without spending real money. So keep that in mind. But in the daily deals, sometimes if you wait till towards the end of the event, you can get a load of these tokens to open these things for very, very dirt cheap. But the drop rates, you know, sometimes they're okay, sometimes they're bad drop rates. So there's no guarantee you're going to get something good out of here. So this is probably the more expensive and hardest way to get stuff from, you know, the game here is opening these crates. But they do drop some pretty cool stuff from time to time. It's just not easy to get at all. So hopefully that wraps this up. Hopefully that makes it easy to understand how all this stuff works, what you can get, what you should and shouldn't get, and all that good stuff. So hey, again, if you like this content, hit that like, hit that subscribe, click that little bell, set those notifications on. If you want to help support the channel, check out the thank you button or the join button down below the video. Drop down the video's description to see some more ways to help support the channel, some game news, some interesting stuff. So drop down that description, check that stuff out. There's the Danny Lightning merch store, my Discord server, and a bunch of other good stuff. So check it out. Later, guys. Thanks for watching. You guys are amazing. See ya.